Hi, I'm Joe Robbins, I'm Wildlife Biologist Supervisor for Southeast Michigan, and welcome to Point Mea State Game Area. Point Mea State Game Area headquarters is located in Wayne County, 4,040 acre Point Mea State Game Area is actually located in Monroe County. We sat right on the Monroe-Wayne County line. The state started acquiring the first couple thousand acres in 1945, and as of today, uh, we have a total of 4,040 acres for the entire Point Mea State Game Area. Managed hunting here at the Point Mea State Game Area began in 1978. This is really a funnel area for migratory birds, and as they migrate down the Detroit River and this is one of the first stops that they have before they uh, start heading south. Being one of the largest freshwater marsh restoration projects in North America, we maintain about 12.3 miles of dikes here and 86 water control structures. We have individual zones that are independently managed with uh, water control in each of those units. We have the Humphreys unit which is 1,187 acres. We have the Vermette unit which is 543 acres. We have the Bag Creek unit, which is around 200 acres. We have the Wild Paddage unit, which is around 250 acres. We also have the other managed areas, as the Long Pond unit, which is around 220 acres. We have the Nelson unit, which is uh, 100 acres. And we have the Bloody Run unit, which is a refuge, which is planted with uh, buckwheat, millet, and corn, and then flooded in the fall for migratory birds that holds a lot of our ducks here. And that is around 110 acres. The Launch Logger Unit, which is also part of the Seasonal Wildlife Refuge, that is managed as a moist soil unit, which means we have moist soil plants such as smart weeds, nut sedge, bidens, and wild millet growing in there, which is a very attractive food source for migratory waterfowl. My name is Ed Cooley. I'm the wildlife biologist at the Point Mea State Game Area. We only have managed hunting two days a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. Doors open at 5 and the drawing is at 5.30 and we have an afternoon draw. We start registering people around 10.30 and the draw is at 11. Upon arrival at the Point Mea State Game Area office, assemble your hunting party and enter the Point Mea State Game Area office on the north side of the building. Come up to the counter to register. You must have your small game license, your waterfowl hunting license, your hip survey, and your duck stamp. It is required to have a daily or annual fee to hunt in the managed areas. Daily fee is $4, the annuals are $13. All of the proceeds from those fees go back into the game area for habitat improvements and management. We do sell all of the Michigan hunting licenses here at the game area. We do not carry duck stamps. Make sure you have your duck stamp before you get to the field office. When you come into the Point Mea State game area to register for the managed hunt, you have to fill out a completed registration card. Each registration card has an individual number. That's your number for the draw. And that number is on a bingo ball corresponding to each party's number. A volunteer is called up to pull the balls out of the can and that determines the order of the drawing. Whichever bingo ball is drawn first, that party gets the first pick on which zone they would like to hunt in that day. Every person that gets a number at registration will have a chance to take whatever zone is left over when their number is called. Our number one harvested species is mallard. We have 13 zones in the managed draw. Four of the zones are agricultural zones. They are strip crop alternating between corn and buckwheat. Zones two through 10 are cattail marsh zones provide plenty of openings and cover, provide excellent hunting opportunities. We do recommend a boat, 12 or 14 foot John boat with a small outboard, but we would recommend having a surface drive type motor to get you in those areas. It is a shallow marsh. We do have boat pullovers here at the Point Mea State Game Area. Once you come across the rollers, you will be able to have access to all of the zones two through 10. Each individual is limited to 18 shells with shot size no larger than one while hunting in the managed zones. Waterfowl hunters must have in their possession federally approved non-toxic shot. The morning hunt ends at 12 noon. The afternoon hunt begins at 1. The average hunter here at the Point Mea State Game Area uses about two dozen decoys. Spinning wing decoys are allowed within the entire Point Mea State Game Area. The use of retrievers are allowed. For new hunters to the Point Mea State Game Area, we recommend that you come for the afternoon hunt. Ask questions, look at aerial photos of the zones, get an idea of how to walk into them and which ones are accessible by walking and which ones are accessible by boat. There are Point Mea State Game Area maps available on the Michigan DNR website. We do provide youth hunting opportunities here at the Point Mea State Game Area in our managed draw. Please refer to the Michigan Waterfowl Hunting Digest for times and dates. Here at the Point Mea State Game Area, we conduct weekly waterfowl surveys and all of that information is available on the Michigan DNR website. No available zones or you do not select a zone, there are plenty of waterfowl hunting opportunities nearby. We do offer hunting seven days a week in the Humphreys Unit and Vermont Unit. It's on a first come first serve basis. Majority of those areas are accessible by boat. There is limited walk-in access. There's first come first serve hunting at the Wall Paddock, Mouye Creek, the Bad Creek, all along the outside of the Banana Dyke. All of these units are within the Point Mea State Game Area. Just to the south of the Point Mea State Game Area is the Point of Po Wildlife Area, and the majority of this is coastal wetland. Most of our birding and hiking opportunities occur during the spring and summer. From September 15th through the end of the waterfowl season, we do have seasonal wildlife refuges on the Point Mea State Game Area. 
For more information, always contact us by phone at 734-379-9692. Here at the Point VA State Game Area, the maintenance and uh, management of this area is we use hunting license dollars. We also rely heavily on our local partners. We have an annual Point VA Waterfowl Festival. We also partner with Ducks Unlimited. Waterfowl USA has helped us purchase tractors, planting equipment, discs, plows. Gibraltar Duck Hunters Association is another great partner. They have helped us with the youth waterfowl hunt here at the Point VA State Game Area, and they've also helped us purchase equipment. Thank you for your interest in the Point VA State Game Area. Please check us out for an afternoon or morning hunt this fall.